Señor Sánchez, muchas felicidades por su jubilación. Le deseo lo mejor, lo vamos a extrañar, lo voy a extrañar mucho. Eh, muchas gracias por todo lo que me ha apoyado aquí, por ser mi mentor, por el ejemplo de dedicación y de trabajo y de preocupación y atención a sus alumnos. Eh, espero algún día ser como usted, yo también. Mucha suerte y disfrute mucho, mucho a su familia y este tiempo que se lo ha ganado y se lo merece mucho. Gracias por todo. Robert Sanchez, I never met a man more full of wit. This school, this community is going to miss him greatly. Hi Robert, congratulations. I can't believe it's finally happening. 38 years seemed just like yesterday. It was all getting there started. Um, as I was sharing with Ms. Anderson just a little while ago as to why I'm fanning myself with these cards, I'm sure you know the story behind it. As we were getting our masters, we had a class where we had to keep notes on index cards. And like any overachiever, you had them all done before they were even due. And these cards, if I could right now, I would get a match and I would torch them because that's what I wanted to do to your cards all those years ago. And seriously, Robert, I like the way you took 38 years to retire, as Mr. Mieta said many years ago. I like the way you handled all your students. I like the way you uh, got along with all the friends and family here at school. And I love the way you did all those practical jokes that we no longer do. I'll miss you. Um, I'm sure you'll have a wonderful life ahead of you, and I don't want to say anymore because I'll get emotional. And I'm happy for you, and I'm jealous at the same time. But maybe in a few years, I can say I'm ready to retire too, but I'm not ready yet. Congratulations, que Dios te bendiga, y da muchos, muchos años de salud, y te lo deseo todo lo mejor en la vida. Con cariño, Carolyn. La Marie. Hi, Robert. I wanted to try to think of something to, to say goodbye with, and I thought, who am I going to say good morning to? You're always the first one, you and Rich. It's morning, Rich. Morning, Robert. And then I thought, I know. You know how we always worry about we don't worry. We worry that other people don't realize who parks where at this school. And how you park, and then I park, and then Lisa parks. We know this. And um, how sometimes in the morning we get there and we're all three parked where we're supposed to be parked. And you would always turn to Lisa and I and say, well, the planets are aligned. Things will go well today. Best luck with the new, ver vin new voyage of your life. And we will miss you. Bye-bye. Hi Robert, it's Lisa. Um, I just wanted to share a story with you and I've told you this many times, but I remember the time that the article um, about you was in the journal and your picture was there and everything and you were putting up all your pictures of George Washington and I stood up real proud at home and I said, Mom, I work with him. And my mom looks at me, you work with George Washington? He's like, no, I work with Robert. And I've always enjoyed all these years of working with you you have been such an inspiration to us, to our students. You've helped in any way you could. Uh, last minute things, you know, I'm always asking last minute stuff and you're always right there. You're so professional, you always do it. And I know I always tell you, when I need something, I love you very, very much. But Robert, I love you very much. Have a good future. Enjoy your grandbaby. And Mary, it's only at school I love him, not at home. Thanks, bye. So, Mr. Sanchez, uh, you are retiring. Um, it's well-deserved. Uh, you've earned it. Um, 
things are going to be a lot different here at Washington without you since you've been here for 37 years. Um, it probably won't be the same. I've had the pleasure of my entire teaching career teaching here at Washington with you, so it'll be a little bit different, a little strange without you, but you deserve uh, this time off. So um, I, can, I guess I can start calling you Dad instead of Mr. Sanchez. <laughs> so enjoy your retirement. I just wanted to thank you because I'm not sure I would have gotten through my first year of teaching without you. Thanks.